could you say a couple of words about the whole idea of Blue Corridor and uh, what you expect from it and uh, why did you decide to uh, make it European this time? Because um, I know that a couple, six, six times, is this a sixth? Yeah, uh, so you were driving across Russia and this time you're going European and uh, going through seven European uh, capitals. Um. So the idea of the Blue Corridor has been conceived the first time by the Russian Vernadsky Foundation who had the task to analyze the possibility of serving European transport routes just based on natural gas. With our Blue Corridor Rally 2012 we would like to show that natural gas for vehicles is reality here and today. That it is possible to drive through Europe based on CNG and LNG only. But we also would like to show what still has to be done. And we believe that investments in the infrastructure are key to further developing the network and to further promote the use of natural gas as an environmentally friendly fuel. Um, what are uh, the prospects for CNG LNG development uh, in Europe and maybe um, elsewhere? And um, what do you expect of the Blue Corridor to result in? Uh, and do you think that CNG LNG uh, will become a real alternative to uh, other fuels? They are already an alternative today, as we show here with the vehicles that we present, with the refueling that we present. With regards to the development prospects, I believe that the environmental agenda of the European Union requires low-cost solutions for the end users, be it commercial or private. So they have to understand, and we would like to show by means of doing such a rally, that, and that natural gas as an environmentally fuel, uh, friendly fuel is available, that it's safe, that it's clean and that it's proven technology. Now, how fast we can develop this market will depend on many factors, like the involvement with the automotive industry, the involvement with the European uh, politics and the power of the gas industry actually investing in the infrastructure. However, why do we do it through the whole of Europe? It's because environmental problems are not subject to individual countries anymore. The price increases in the conventional fuels are here throughout Europe. So this time we actually do such a big tour to promote the use of natural gas in many European countries. You say that CNG and LNG are um, environmental friendly and economical, safe. Could you give us some numbers, like um, for example the reduction of um, CO2? In terms of environmentally friendliness, um, natural gas itself reduces CO2 emissions by 25% and compared to diesel, a lot less of uh, carbon monoxide and also no particulate matter. With regards to the um, profitability or the economic uh, well, factors, currently the prices for natural gas are at about a level of 50% to petrol or diesel which makes it very economic for the users of natural gas vehicles to drive such vehicles even if they have to pay a little premium up front. Um, you came to Warsaw for the first time, are you going to uh, come back next year with Blue Corridor? If we come back with the Blue Corridor, I don't know, but we very much hope so, that this event also emphasizes the importance of natural gas for vehicles in Warsaw. I myself um, I'm quite frequently in Poland because we are currently developing this market together with our partner Solbus um, to convince clients and municipalities that using LNG fueled buses makes sense and Gazprom is ready to provide the infrastructure. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.